What's going on guys and welcome back to another video in the end of 2025 where we're at right now we're in November vertical streaming is becoming the best way to get discovered and even possibly grow your horizontal streams on maybe kick or twitch or even YouTube. So at this point in time, I really think that everybody should be vertical streaming, meaning streaming to the YouTube shorts feed or to TikTok. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a vertical stream on OBS Studio, and it's so incredibly easy. But before we get into it, you guys know how important it is to make your stream pop, make your stream stand out amongst the sea of millions of other people trying to make it as a streamer. And that's where our sponsor for today's video is going to come in. You guys got to check out Owned.tv. Owned.tv is your one-stop shop for fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Kick, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full-themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover, but let's say you're looking to pick up some new alert graphics, don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, emotes, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay, such as this Rodan one right here, you could change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you're looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. And don't forget, use code HAMMER at checkout for an additional 50% off your order. Now, back to the video. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, what we're going to do is hop over to my desktop. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. We're going to download a plugin for OBS and then show you how to set up your vertical stream. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open up your browser and navigate to atom.tv slash products slash vertical, or just go to atom.tv, come up here to products and click vertical. That's going to bring you to this page right here. What you guys are going to do is download vertical for free and then you're going to install it now after you've downloaded and installed the vertical plugin you're going to come up back here to products and you're going to download the multi-stream plugin as well come to this page click download multi for free install it and then make sure you close and then reopen obs once you've done that now you're going to have access to the vertical plugin and the multi-stream plugin. Now, the vertical plugin is what's gonna help you build your vertical canvas. As you guys can see here on the screen, this is my vertical canvas. So basically I have my camera popped out right here. I put a green glow behind it. I have my kick logo because I mainly stream over on kick as my horizontal stream. And then this blackness behind the camera, this is normally my gameplay or whatever I'm playing. So you're gonna have access to the vertical canvas and then a to multi-stream. So if you don't see those things popping up when you open OBS, come up to the top, come to dock, and you're going to select vertical scenes, vertical sources, vertical, this is going to be your vertical uh, preview window, and then ATIM multi-stream. Those four things you need to make sure they're checked and that we have access to messing with them in OBS. Once you have them, then you could kind of take them and drag them around wherever you want inside OBS. I have mine set up like this. I have my vertical preview right here where we're going to build our canvas. Down at the bottom, I have ATIM multi-stream, and then on another tab, I have vertical scenes, vertical sources over here, and then if I want to mess with my regular horizontal stuff, it's just under regular scenes and regular sources. So for now, we're going to select the vertical vertical scenes and sources. So I just have one scene called vertical scene. As you guys could see here, let me move it over so that you guys could see that vertical scene right here. And then in this scene, I'm in the vertical sources tab. I have what's building up this scene. Obviously I have game capture all the way at the bottom. Like I said, this blackness under my camera, that's going to be whatever game I'm playing. Uh, my image two, this is the green glow that I have around my camera. As you can see, if I hide it, it goes away. Uh, display capture. If I want to share my actual monitor, which I could show you real quick, you see what that looks like. Uh, Sony, this this is my camera. If I hide that, the camera goes away. And then image, this is my kick logo, uh, little uh, social logo that I have there. You know, which because multi-streaming to vertical platforms really does help get people over to your horizontal. So it's very, very useful. Uh, so that's how the scene itself is built. But how do you go live with this, right? What you're going to do is go to ATEM multi-stream, wherever you set it up, and you're going to click this little cog wheel down at the bottom left. You're going to click vertical canvas and you're going to add an output. Now, wherever you're trying to vertical stream to, let's just use YouTube for an example here. Uh, YouTube and TikTok are going to be the most, you know, used ones out of everybody. We're going to go here and we're going to rename it YouTube vertical stream. Okay. You're going to set up your live on YouTube as you would normally. You go to your YouTube channel, you click your profile icon in the top right. You're going to click go live, set up your stream there. And then when you get to the part where you have your YouTube stream key on the dashboard, copy and paste that into here. 
Once you have your stream key, copy and paste it into there. You're going to hit create output. And now you'll see that your YouTube vertical canvas is set up. You're going to hit OK. And now if you look on ATEM Multistream, we'll make it bigger so that you guys could see the whole thing. Uh, now you have all your main canvases, right? These are all my YouTube channels, my kick, my Twitch. This is how I multi-stream using this plugin. Um, and now under vertical canvases, you see you have the YouTube vertical canvas plugin right there and when you want to go live on that you're going to just click this green button but before we do that let's go back to our little vertical canvas here and in this section we're going to hit the cog wheel now for streaming you want to have this button checked on the streaming on the left hand side go to advanced right here use main obs settings this is basically going to pull all of your settings from obs and use those same exact settings when streaming with this vertical format as well you don't need to set up different settings like a different encoder bitrate all of that it's just going to pull all that information from how you mainly stream on obs and then you're pretty much set to go everything's going to work from there and it's going to work flawlessly it's actually that simple and i really do suggest you guys start vertical streaming because vertical streaming is extremely discoverable people are just swiping on youtube shorts swiping on tiktok and if you are vertical streaming and then you know also multi-streaming to your main platforms kick youtube or twitch it's going to help pull people over to your main streams as well it's very good for discoverability and it's very not taxing on your pc at the same time because it's a vertical stream so it's not using the same amount of resources as a full-blown you know landscape style stream so I hope that this was able to help you guys out, right? I want to make sure you guys have everything you need. It took me a little bit to kind of figure out how to go vertical streaming, uh, you know, and add it into my multi-streaming library and, you know, do it in a, in a way that, you know, looks and sounds like my regular stream, but also entices people to come over to my horizontal streams. I think that's a very important part. And that's why I have that kick social element on the vertical stream itself so that people can watch on vertical if they want, but they know that I'm also live over on kick if they want to watch the entire big picture of the stream. So if this helps you guys out, hit the like button. It really helps me out with the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and come follow me over on kick, kick.com slash hammer dance. I stream Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I'll see you all in the next one.